so picking up where we left off yesterday, special right triangles, take a look at page 251, if you don't have that out already, and numbers 8, 9, and 10. 8 and 9, you should have drawn pictures to help yourself out. And number 10, number 10, they gave you a nice, amazing picture there for you already. All right, so just a quick recall from yesterday, 45, 45, 90, our, our, um, our side lengths, if this is x, that's x, that's x root 2. That's the relationship on a 45, 45, 90. We talked about how to find those using the Pythagorean theorem. And then on a 30, 60, 90, you've got x, the hypotenuse is in 2x, and the other leg, the uh, second longest leg is x root 3. Okay? All right. Or the longer leg, though. Not the second longest, but the longer leg. All right, so on number 8... Tell your neighbor what you got there. Okay, so we have a square. When we break a square and go diagonal to diagonal, you get 45s. So that tells you it's our special right triangle. It says to find the perimeter of the square, and they tell you the diagonal has a length of 32. Okay, Which means if I want to find the perimeter, I need to find the side lengths out here. I can call that x and that x. That would be x and that would be x. Okay. In terms of <coughs> this picture, 32 is equal to x root 2. So if I come over here and solve that, 32 equals x root 2. You have two different ways we talked about solving yesterday. One way was just to square both sides to get rid of that radical. The other way is to divide by root 2, or excuse me, to, yeah, to divide both sides by root 2, which is what I'm going to do here. I get x is equal to 32 divided by root 2. Okay, and then to make sure the radical's not in the denominator spot, I've got to multiply by that special number 1, root 2 over root 2. So when I multiply by root 2 over root 2, that ends up giving me root 4 on the bottom, which is the same thing as 2. So root 2 times root 2 is 2. And then 32, root 2 on top. When I simplify that, that's actually 1, and that's 16. So we get 16 root 2 equals x. So this, um, to round to the nearest tenth up in the direction. So that would be about 90.5 inches. So I guess technically you could have done that right here if you wanted to. You could have just rounded from here. You didn't even have to put it in simplest radical form. All right, how many got it? How many figured out where they made their mistake? Okay, tell your neighbor or question first. Oh, find the perimeter. Sorry, we found the length of x. Good call. That is my fault. So we'd actually need four of these, yes? Yes. So actually, we shouldn't round it until we multiply by four. KJ, I'm glad you're here. So four times 16 is 64. <coughs> 64 root 2, let's try that. What's 64 root 2? That would be our perimeter. We have four of those sides. Carlo? No, hold on. What's 64 root 2? Is that 90.5? Yeah. 90.8. Okay. 90.8 inches. 90.5. Oh, 90.5? Okay. So this was this was the actual perimeter. It's just that's not that rounded side length. Ninety point five inches. Thank you for pointing that out, KJ. All right, Carlo, what's your question? So if the thirty two x root two and we can't get x, then that's just the thirty root two Okay. Tell your neighbor where you made your mistake. 
I forgot. I forgot to find the perimeter. I just found a side lane. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean to take your name. I forgot to find the perimeter. Simplified. Yeah. Sometimes fun to just simplify and necessarily makes it simple. All right. Well, any questions? Number niner. All right. Don't know how many are watching the NCAA tournament. Really, Gonzaga's the only team that's any good that's left in there. Not anyone else. What do you mean they're the worst team? Nothing like uh, that one yeah. team from the state below us. Uh, oh, is that who they are? Ducks. Nothing against the Ducks, but then again, I can't talk much trash because neither of the Washington schools made it. So. Did they win their game last night? I don't know. I, I, I don't pay attention to the NIT. That's ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Yeah, if they knew how to play defense. Come on. Come on, little man. Get them to play defense. They're a young team. But I was young. Our team was young this year, and we played defense. That's what I'm saying. We were younger. Eighth grade team. Okay. An isosceles triangle with a base angle of 30 has an altitude of root 3. There we've got it. Isosceles mean that is congruent to that. Um, notice I dropped an altitude here. That's root 3. When I drop an altitude, that gives me a 90 degree angle here, which means 30, 90, and 60. This is obviously not to scale. Okay, if I am labeling my sides, this is x. This is 2x. Excuse me, that's wrong. This is x root 3. And this is 2x. Okay, find the length of the base. So this length. Okay, do we'll make sure I do it right and don't just go one part of that thing. Okay, find the length of the base. So if this, if x is root 3 and I want the length of the base, really don't even have to pay attention to the 2x. Hi, Maddie. Well, I didn't think about it, but like the other way, um, how did you know that root 3 was like that length was x? Because I like put it on the side where it was x root 3 was. Can, can I show, let me. Let me, uh, so I know that this is root 3, that length is root 3, because when I'm looking at a 30, 60, 90 triangle, so if I draw it out like this, which is the way I think you're saying you drew it, yes? Okay, the shorter side is always your x. The longer side, the longer leg is your x root 3. So what I'm saying here is my short, my shorter leg, and Maybe even better for us, that's the 60 and that's the 30. The leg that connects your 90, your, um, excuse me, your 90 to your 60 is your X. So, so if I'm going 90 to 60 here, that's my X. Well, no, I mean, you can still get the same answer if you do it up like this. It's just I'm trying to draw the picture that they've described in that but if it were, if you were able to draw it in a different way and it works, that's fine. So this would be, if I plug in x is root 3, so we plug that in for x here, we get root 3, root 3, root 3, root 3 is 3. That means this length is 3, from there to there. Okay, so this is also, whoa, got a little excited there, is also 3. 3 and 3 is 6. six. Six metars. Right. Yeah. How many got it? How many know what they did wrong? All right. Questions? Brennan? So I just put in where x is. I put in the root 3. So the question is, how do I plug in the root 3 for the x? So I just took this root 3 and substitute it in right there. So I have root 3, root 3. Okay. All right. Last one, number 10. Find the area of triangle def, 
There was a band back in the 80s called Def Leppard. Oh, I know. My dad would listen to that. Your dad listened to it? Yep. Well done. You he like always, your dad like, for a reason. Tries to annoy me. Yeah, that's good. Good to annoy your kids. Okay. Find the area of triangle DEF around your answer to the nearest tenth. All right. D to E to F to the nearest tenth. How do I find area? Area is equal to base <laughs> times height times one half or divided by two. Very true. Okay? And so if I'm going through that, I need to know the base, which, and the height, where they two, where they two come together at the right angle there. Okay? So right now I know this is seven root three, and I know that's fourteen. That's about all I know. All right? Tell your neighbor how you solved it. Okay, a, um, just a quick hint, there are multiple ways to solve this, but to apply it to what we're doing, this is a 30-60-90 triangle if you focus in on the small triangle here, okay, so if I use my cool highlighter, don't be jealous, okay, I'm not a as good at coloring as some people. Okay, but this is 7 root 3. What length is that in terms of a 30, 60, 90? Is that x, 2x, or x root 3? That is x root 3. So this is equal to x root 3, meaning x is equal to x equals 7. So that's the only part that differs. The root 3s are the same. This side is my x, so that's 7. And this side is my 2x. So from here to here is 14. Okay, so this side is equal to 14. All right, so I'm going to get rid of the 2x there now. That's 14. I'm going to get rid of the x there. That's 7, and we've got that. So with that being said, if this is 14 and this entire thing is 28, okay, what's that mean about this side? They're proportional. Yeah, these are similar triangles. We know that because of what's the theorem? Shares one angle. How many angles do you need? Two. We have angle and we have angle. Angle, angle theorem. These are similar triangles. Therefore, if this is 14 and this whole length is double that, then this is 7 root 3. This whole length has to be 14 root 3, meaning this is 7 root 3 also. So a grand total of 14 root 3s. How is that helpful? Well, it tells us those two things. Can we find the height? Oh, 14 root root, I was joking, root 3. Shoot 3, man. Okay, what's this? 14, it's double that, right? I should have brought my pencil over here today rather than... Oh, there's my pencil right there. Makes me feel any better. It's sitting right by my paper now. Okay. Area is equal to one half base. What's my base? 14, not root 13. 14 root 3. I almost wrote root 13. Okay. And height is? 14. Okay. 14 times 14. Everyone do that in your head. Yes, good. 196. Nice job. 196 root 3 times 1 half. <coughs> what is it? No, half of 196? It is 98 root 3. 98 root 3 to the nearest tenth is? 169.7 meters squared. All right, now I'll go back to Maddie's question. Maddie said, how did I get 14 for the height? Okay. It has a similar rate, similarity ratio of 2, right? That to that is 2. So that to that is 2. So this to this also would have to be 2. So you just double that 7 to get 14. All right.